it's Lee and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the newest section of my channel which is Terms of Endearment. So being an events director, I have heard some terms misused or used that are not really familiar with other people. Or I have to clarify things. So this is what Terms of Endearment is. The terms of endearment that I will tackle is the renewal of vow and convalidation. I've been hearing people use renewal of vows when it's most of the time just convalidation. So here are the difference between renewal of vows and convalidation. So stick around and I will explain some more. For renewal of vows, Renewal of vows is simply put, you get married in a civil wedding and then after a few years, you want to get married again civilly <laughs> under the state. So that's renewal of vows because you're already married, right? Um, with, your, with the same partner for a few years already. So it's just, yeah, you will renew your vows to each other. Same thing with church wedding, Roman Catholic church wedding. And then after a few years, you plan to have a wedding again. Uh, in a different church or probably same church after five years or ten years you'll have that roman catholic wedding again that's renewal of vows or uh, we had one wedding before it's like 25th anniversary so what happened with them was they had a church wedding and then the second um wedding that they did after 25 years was in an event venue but they had a priest go there as well to uh, do the little renewal of vows so but basically they're already married right so, okay so basically they're still married so that's renewal of vows so they're married in the catholic church already and then after a few years that's renewal of vows even though it's a uh, not really as strict as catholic weddings anymore so that's simply renewal of vows okay for convalidation it's like this you are civilly married and then after a few months you decide uh, to get married in the Catholic Church. So for this one, that's convalidation, wherein the church validates your marriage to the state. So the church respects the states, the city where you are registered. So for this one, most of the churches, though, they will still ask for um, most of the marriage requirements. So in lieu of the marriage license, they will ask for your marriage certificate or, or marriage contract already to the original marriage contract wherein the priest will be just signing it off already there's this portion there okay so that's the difference so if civil wedding and then church wedding that's convalidation so i hope you were able to learn something new with a short span of time i hope i enlighten you in some of the terms we use in the wedding industry okay all right this is lee kundangan again from winds events management and hey it's lee ph